Yeah, well, there is a green edition of Windows 8. What could go wrong, eh? The setup is very green and very extraordinarily set up by the developer to embrace the green variant of this bootleg. This is shown by the over-exaggeration of the green edition, by the background, the poor transparency, and to sum it all up, terrible user experience. As you can guess, the boot screen is green too. I have no idea what will go through me next. Yeah, green OBE, of course, why wouldn't it? Whilst finalizing the settings, the post install script automatically starts and doesn't need any auto clicking with the mouse cursor like what the two previous bootlegs did. And what's more interesting is that the post install script also cracks the applications. Well, it's a bootleg, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are on the desktop and we are greeted by the green desktop background, taskbar, icons, and start my oh, sorry, start screen. The start screen is very empty. I'm assuming that most Metro apps are uninstalled. But even though it's only left with IE and store, both can't be open due to user account control being turned off. PC setting is working with green look. My goodness. Looking at the PC info, this bootleg pre-activates Windows, which is very legal of course. And the support just tells you to call these numbers if you need any support with this bootleg as they are available 24-7. Gosh, I don't believe they are really available 24-7. But what is available 24-7 is a subscribe button. So click that subscribe button so that I can reach 6,000 subscribers pretty soon. Oh yeah, joining the membership puts your name in every outro of my video. No pressure. Moving on to control panel. Green again, yeah. Deal with it, mate. Windows 8 Green Edition. Remember that I said most Metro apps are uninstalled? Well, I'm correct. The application's list only shows IE and PC settings. And so, which is very stripped down. But wait, uh uh, this is not the case for the pre installed cracked apps such as CCleaner, Internet Download Manager, USB Disk Security, as well as WinRA. Wait, web integration? Uh, it only links to a certain web page which quote unquote integrates your web experience. Yeah, I get it, I get it. And this open CM Team PK shortcut opens their forum page. Unlike what the name suggests, this is based on Windows 8.1. So And this bootleg only uses 3.89 gigabytes of storage. Very stripped down. But I think this comes to a bit of a limitation that have to be noted though. What are they? Well, only one theme, no system sounds, just one lock screen background, and just one desktop background. This doesn't sound like a limitation, right? Is I could just Google any programs and any customization that I want to, right? Yeah, with 2024 incoming, applications are just starting to abandon Windows 8.1. Or if you are a mad lad, you can just survive while still using Windows 8.1 and this very specific bootleg. So, do I recommend you to use this bootleg for the fun's sake? Yes, but for professional sake, no, I don't. Just, just don't. Stay away from this board, apart from looking at the bright side of it. Do you want the download link? Yeah, I'll put the link in the description. And you know what? I just bought a $20 Windows laptop. Is it a bargain? Well, check out this video. Meanwhile, like and share this video. Thank you to my supporters for making this video possible. And also don't forget to check out this video.